Alright y'all, what's good? It's your boy, SJJ Kida, first black Super Saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. I'm back here with another video, another anime review for these Weeaboo Garden Chats to kick back the stuff we're talking about anime, where we review anime, where we may do a discussion, all those things, and the other, you know, all the basic shit. So look, I got this video for you guys. We're gonna do a spoiler-free review of Maho Sensei Negime. Now this show is a fantasy, magic, harem related show. This show takes place with Negi Springfield. Negi Springfield is this boy who's at this magic academy. He is tasked with a task. He is tasked with a mission from the Grand Master to, you know, since he's a a boy aspiring to be a grand wizard, grand magician, you would think like, oh, he need to go do some crazy shit about me on this Harry Potter shit. Nah, he has to do some basic stuff, and that is become a school teacher. And this kid's only 10 years old. Now this here, hold up. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, this here, this is a manga, Negime Neo, but the name of the anime is Maho Sensei Negime. There's two versions. There's Negime Magister Negi Magi, which is like a re. It's like a redo, a re, a soft reboot of the original. My whole sensei Negime is the original. But look, this show, I recommend this to people who are in the magic, they're in the harems. This show isn't too over the top, too sexual because it's. Because at the end of the day, this boy, he is 10 years old. But in anime land, that shit don't matter. He's very shy, like obvious. You know, he's a 10-year-old boy. What you gonna expect? He ain't finna go chasing after no coochie like that. He's not going to be doing that. No, 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 no. Negi's just a regular kid, regular boy doing what regular boys do. But he's aspiring to be a grand wizard. A grand wizard because there's someone special in his life that he's just trying to aspire to be that's out of his life. That is the reason of his existence. I'll let you guess who that is when you watch the show. There's two versions. Negime Magister Negimagi. And Maho Sensei Negime. They both do the origins. But you can watch either or. I recommend watching both. Both are, both versions are tight. There's 12 episodes. 12 episodes. In, no, no. There's 24 episodes in each of the versions. Each version has 24 episodes. You can also read the manga too. I recommend you go check that out. Please check it out. But overall, what I'm going to say about this anime, I'm going to say for myself. So I'm in Harems, right? I fuck some. High School to Dead. Tenchi Mio. I'm, I'm fucking with him. But this show, this was different for me because when I first watched it. So when I first watched it, I got into the show. I was like, damn, this is a young ass little nigga. And it's like, it's not the thing of aspiring like, yo... I just want to be in that position. It's like the interactions of how this unrealistic situation would play out. It's the inter it's the interactions. Like you have the character Asuna, who is the girl in orange here. Asuna. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. This is from Yuku Hold you you hold it a second. Look, you know, don't don't worry about that. But you have Asuna who. You would think she would be totally for the harem thing. She's kind of an accidental character. She's straight up, straightforward. She'll kind of just like grab on the kid. She'll let him know what's up. She's like Bulma the Kid Goku. It's like if Kid Goku slips up, he tries to do any freaky stuff. But Negi's not that kind of character. Negi's a very sweet, innocent kind of kid. He's very sweet and innocent. So he's not going to be trying to play that stuff. He ain't no straight up perverted guy. He's very about his magic. Good teacher. He's an English teacher. Good English teacher. But he's not a pervert like that. He's trying to aspire to be a magician. He was tasked with it, this task to go to the school and, and, in a way, protect these students and to also be a teacher. Because he has to take away something from the experience, too. I'm not going to tell you what he gets into with these girls. I'm not talking about there's no sexual portion of it. There's more to it than him just, you just see these cute girls and that's it. That's not it. There's more to it there's in order for him to advance as a magician he needs and it's not 
you can take it as some, it's very basic. It's very basic. All couples do it. I'm not finna say what it is, but all couples do it. You do it to your mom when you're uh, going off somewhere. Your mom will do it to you. Maybe on your forehead or your cheek. You guys know what I'm talking about. She'll do it. But it's to advance his role as a magician. In order for him to increase his role as a magician, just I'm going to let you know, he can't do it alone. This show is not about alone. It's about together. That's the basis of the show. Yeah, he got all these cute girls, but he sees cute girls get touched upon. In this show, not in a sexual way, but story-wise, there's great detail to them. They all got personality. You may not get to spend enough time with all of them, but each of them have their moments where they pop out of nowhere. They'll give you, they'll show off something. Like there's this one character called Ku, and she's this, uh, she's this martial martial arts fanatic and she's a super into martial arts she likes to teach other kids and stuff and she just always like practicing and wrecking stuff and she's kind of she ain't lost she just she ain't the brightest but she's the the underdog funniest person but she'll wreck your stuff but she ain't she isn't dumb but she's kind of oblivious it's like she's put on act of being oblivious but she's really not that oblivious she's you know have fun and stuff and she doesn't know her own strength. She's that kind of character. You know, you get there's moments like those. But you pick and choose what you want to take from the show, guys. You pick and choose what you want to take from the show. What I take away from the show, show was, ugh, show was cool to me. It was okay. But there was an issue when you have an anime character, right? And I, I used to, I still hate seeing this till this day. You got so many anime characters that get stuck up in these harems. And they're like, not even solidifying anything and but it's also a great sign of respect to the women in the show like some of them trying to advance and throw it their way but you know he's like nah i ain't doing it Ugh. i ain't doing it i ain't doing it i ain't doing it i can't do it it's like wonder woman with steve trevor in the wonder woman movie steve, steve trevor has so many attempts to sleep with another girl bro. He had so many attempts. You want to know what he did? Well, he had many attempts to sleep with Wonder Woman, but you know what he did? He didn't sleep with her. He was like, ah, it's going to be weird. I'm not going to take advantage of her. Even though this boy's young, you know, boys, uh, little boys. Uh, if a little boy gets touched on by a, a girl, it, ah, that's for whatever y'all want to dabble in, too. But I'm able to handle shows like these, so it's all good, you know. I'm able to handle... Look, this show... Is not what you think. <laughs> this show is not what you think. It is. Well, you may think it is what it is, but it's not what you think it is. All right? I'm just letting you know. What you think this show is, get that out your head because it really will not be what you think it is. The Negi Mei Magister Negi Mangi is more like what you think it is, but Maho Sensei Negi Mei is the cleaner person. Super clean. Super clean. Like clean. What? Well, clean. Alright, guys. We're going to video over there. It's your boy Kid Out. First black Super Saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. I'm the first black Super Saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. Yo, go have that Dragon Ball Super movie uh, coming out in uh, January 16th. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to be there to review. I'm going to go see it with my friends in the theaters. It's going to be my first Dragon Ball movie I get to see in theaters. But one thing I'm pissed off about is that. So I was on the impression it was coming out in December, but it's not because the English sub comes out and that's gonna be in Japan, and that's the issue. Cause I don't want to, I really want to watch this shit in theater, but I don't want to watch it online, and then I miss out the experience in the theaters. Like I want to watch it in theaters, it's gonna be so hard. I'll just have to restrict myself for like a whole month, and that's gonna be hard. Ah. Uh gonna be hard people gonna be talking about it. i'm gonna be missing out bro hey but it's worth the wait but look we on this video there boy kid out signing out got things to do first black super saiyan always on that status always doing that first black super saiyan thing baby oh your boy gotta go gotta sign out gotta go do other things i'm about to go rack out some other reviews for you guys uh, gotta go deuces